and final round of Felix Savone's gold medal fight. Well, Felix Savone has had his way right throughout. In fact, the opponent, David uh, Diefeborn of Halifax, Canada, finally came up with a scoring blow. 34 seconds left in the, in the second round, and check this out. Dominance for uh, Savone over Diefeborn. And he has done what Felix Savone always does. Use the jab and the lead right as a range finder. And Use the jab as a range finder and then pop in that right hand. Felix Savone is a very one-dimensional boxer, but he has the physical attributes to make it work in the amateur game. Chopping right hand landed by Savone that uh, hurt Diffie Ball. He's looking for the knockout now. Savone just measuring Diffie Ball is just looking to stay on his feet. Opening the third round and a, a standing eight for the second time. In one round, standing eights and or knockdowns, four for the bout, and the bout is stopped. So we've had two standing eights. Savone finding the range with the right hand. Steve Bone has never been able to counter that. He doesn't have a great left hook, which is what you counter it with. Against the shorter boxer, he would counter it with an uppercut. But uh, in this instance, not able to get much done. And Savone won the gold in 92. He won by the margin of 14 to 1. This was 12-1 coming to the third. I think the only question here, out is whether his opponent, Diffie Bone, will remain on his feet before the final bell. It's a long way to come up in weight, even in four years, to come up 45 pounds and to be facing Oops. a really strong puncher like Savone. David Ichibon from Halifax, Canada by way of Nigeria. And Felix Savon from San Vicente, Cuba. As we come up on a minute remaining in the bout. And as you look at Savon, comparisons are inevitable to T. Philo Stevenson. Savon says by his own account that he may never be as great as Stevenson, who was his idol. But, uh, but for the Cuban boycott of the 88 games, he might have... He might be going for his third gold medal right now. Instead, he's going for a second. Oops. A caution with uh, Leafy Bone turning his back on Savone. It was one of the rare times, although that was not a scoring blow, that Leafy Bone actually made contact with the, uh, the head of Savone. But it was behind the ear, so you do not get credit. Any port in the storm. And this is a storm for Leafy Bone. It has been a trouncing Felix Savone on his way to the gold in the heavyweight division. We've had two standing eights, no knockdowns, final seconds of this third and final round. It has been all Felix Savone of Cuba. He is... Uh marked his place in history even further by winning this gold medal and the idea that he might go to Sydney to try again intriguing to all sports fans and boxing fans. The right hand of course is the Savon trademark. Ify Bone back on his heels. That one just barely clipped him and yet it still knocked him sideways. This is where the standing eight count was called. That good right hand bounces off the headgear of Diffy Bun. And a straight, actually, it was a straight left hand that created the standing eight count. Not often do you see it created by a jab. is the Savon trademark. Diffie Bone back on his heels. That one just barely clipped him and yet it still knocked him sideways. This is where the standing eight count was called. That good right hand bounces off the headgear of Diffie Bone. And a straight, actually it was a straight left hand that created the standing eight count. Not often do you see it created by a jab. And now for the decision, although there is no question about it, Felix Savone with another gold in the heavyweight.
Heavyweight Division. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner from the blue corner, may that be Sue Lidanyo, on his way blue, from Cuba, the Cuba, Savon, Robert Savon, sweeping through this Olympic tournament. Robert Savon, the 28-year-old from Cuba, the biggest attraction in amateur boxing, was not able to put uh, David Beefy Bone of the uh, campus, but a 20 to 2 route to win another gold medal. Is TSN. Hi, this is Dave Randolph for the bottom line in sports in Vancouver. Watch for my reports on sports.